So working at Techno Buffalo, I've got the distinct privilege to be able to check out any phone that I want and use any phone I want while I'm testing. I don't get the opportunity all that often to sort of be in between testing phones, just sort of use a device just because I want to use it. And I really started to decide that I wanted that pure Android experience again. I just finished testing uh, the LG G3. We'd had the Galaxy S5 before that, HTC One M8. Uh, I think the iOS got a little bit stale, nothing really new from Apple coming out for a while. And I wanted just a pure, unadulterated Android experience. So I thought I would go back and try the Nexus 5. And I got to say, I've been really impressed with it. Now this phone came out back in October, so by my math, it's like nine and a half, 10 months old, which by phone times, you already be like, well, this thing's a dinosaur, it's antiquated. Who would buy an Nexus 5 right now? But I'm gonna sort of challenge it. This is still, I think, one of the best phones available. So since it's been like 10 months, let me just refresh you real quickly on the specs. It's got a 4.95 inch screen, so about five inches, 1920 by 1080, Snapdragon 800. Uh, two gigs of RAM on board, eight megapixel camera on the back. The pricing though is pretty sweet. 16 gig is gonna be 349, or 32 is going to be $399. All right, so things I like about the phone, and I wish more phones had this, I love wireless charging. And I know that you can buy Qi adapters for all kinds of phones, but I love that it was built in and gives you wireless charging. I've got a charger at my desk, one at home, you just throw it on there and forget about it. Uh, I never charge my devices at work, usually I do every night at home, but this one I just sort of sat on there and let it charge, and I never, ever had to worry about battery life. So I thought it was cool that Google included that. Also, I realized that I really like Android the way Google intended. Now, this is the way the phone ships. Take it all this stuff. I know you can root it. You can put on custom ROMs and you can do different launches. All that stuff with a ton of different phones. I get that. I know that. But out of the box experience, I love that this is pure, unadulterated Google. I absolutely adore the Google Now launcher. I actually put it on my other Android devices. I like you can swipe over to the left and see Google Now right there, which I really found I'm using way more than I thought for sports scores, for weather, for directions, how long it take me to get home. Google now is getting more and more useful to me. Also, I think the five inch screen size is really perfect. Um, I like bigger phones. I've always said that I'm excited uh, about a larger iPhone. And when I stopped using this, I actually started using uh, the OnePlus One, which sounds weird to say, it's like I'm using the two, uh, which has a 5.5 inch screen, but I think five inches is really a sweet spot. The phone feels really, really good. So despite being now almost a year old, it's still pretty powerful. I never once had any slowdown, ever had any lag. Everything I threw at it worked perfectly. Everything was smooth. The phone just worked. I was kind of making the analogy to some of the guys in the office. It's like the Acura of phones. You might not look at it and be like, wow, that thing's absolutely gorgeous, but it just does everything really well. Every part of it just works and works well together with one exception. And this has sort of been one that's a lot of people have talked about the camera. Google's tried to make it better, but it can only put so much lipstick on a pig before you realize and sober up that it's still just a pig. Eight megapixel camera should be fine. The pictures are just still not good. And I'm not saying by not good by like camera phone standards, which have gotten way, way, way better. You can still post to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and they'll still look absolutely fine but you're not gonna wanna use these pictures to blow up and put photos on a wall. Things get totally blown out in a lot of light situations. Uh, in low light, don't even think about it. Things look really, really grainy. Autofocus is not very quick. That's my one main complaint with the phone. Other than that, though, the thing is absolutely incredible. We stop for one quick sec to thank our friends at lynda.com. They offer thousands of super easy to follow video tutorials that are taught by pros in their industry. You can learn creative software, business skills, anything you want to give yourself a better life or just learn a new skill. Membership starts at 25 bucks per month and it's online, so it's a limited 24 seven access. Give it a shot for seven days free by visiting lynda.com slash technobuffalo. That's L-Y-N-D-A.com slash technobuffalo. Back to the video. It's built really solid too. Uh, I don't generally have cases on my phones. Um, I've been pretty lucky to not break one. I was walking with just normal walking height and I dropped this thing, screen down, and I you didn't get that sinking feeling like happens in slow motion, just like, no, phone. And I picked it up and I was for sure thought the screen was gonna be cracked and it wasn't, it looks fine. There's not even a dent on it. So I was super duper happy about that. Build quality seems to be really, really solid uh, on the phone. So hats off to LG uh, for that. I do still wish that it had removable storage. I wish I could have popped an SD card in there. The biggest you can get is 32 gigs and that's just not that much storage. You consider, you know, maybe 26 or so are actually accessible to you. I have a lot of pictures, they're not stored in the cloud. That can go very, very fast. But for the price, it is a, still a bargain. I know this exists in a world now with the OnePlus One, you know, for the same price, actually a little bit less, you get 64 gigs, um, and the option to put in expandable storage is still a great deal. Uh, but this phone on its own, I just I really like, there's just something about using pure Android as Google intended that I really like. So I'm saying this, if you look to get a new phone, you wanna get a new phone, you don't know what to get, you don't wanna spend a lot of money, maybe you can't get an invite uh, for the OnePlus One. Look at the Nexus 5 again. This is a really good phone. This is a year later, I happily use this phone. I could pick any phone that I wanna try, um, and I'd love, love the Nexus 5. I'm a guy who just loves phones. Like I'm still, I still can't believe that I get the chance to pick these phones. 
For a guy who has a passion and love for phones, this is the one that I picked up. I think that should say something. So if you're looking to get a new phone, you already have a Nexus 5, and you're thinking about what the Nexus 6 is going to be, or you're looking at whatever an HTC or a Samsung, the next iPhone, be really happy with what's in your pocket. This is a great device at a great price, running an incredible operating system that really smashes all the previous misconceptions I think about uh, Android you had, like the cupcake and donut versions that slow and laggy, which it was at the time, and that's still what a lot of people think since they haven't picked up Android device since then. Play it at the Nexus 5. Give it a shot. I think you'll be really impressed how far Android has come. It is an incredible operating system on great hardware. I think LG absolutely nailed it, with just a few exceptions. So what do you guys think? Am I off? Am I way off? You like the series? You want us to bring it back? You know, we did it about two years ago. I really want to hear your thoughts on it. Leave in the comments down below. We can sit and talk about bones, which I can do all day because I freaking love these little pocket computers. Anyway, guys, I'm John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. Of course, check us out at technobuffalo.com. If you want to see our full review, initial review that we did of the Nexus 5, we'll link that down below as well. See you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you want to be up to date on what's coming next in the world of consumer electronics, hit the big subscribe button right down below.